everybody, and welcome back to the Tech Zulu Penthouse here at Silicon Beach Fest. I'm your host, Amanda Kulong, and I am now joined by Daniel Tofik with Bonjour. Not Bonjour, Bonjour. V O N J O U R. What is a Bonjour? Bonjour is a business phone system. It works with your mobile device and it gives you some really intelligent insights on your business. So every time a customer calls, every time you connect one of your customers to an agent, we give you some insights on what's working, what's leading to, to sales. We're doing that for multiple mediums phone, video, chat. It's going to make you a more sophisticated business. Give me a tangible example. Yeah, sure. So you created a call center or you created a, uh, a support group, right? And you provided me, your employee, with an extension and you added me to a support call queue, right? Okay. When I come in in the morning, I usually had to go to an IP desk phone. It's right. really antiquated, it's clunky, it's like every time it calls, I said, why is the 1980s calling me right now? Those phones are so huge and awful. Yeah, and the worst part, they don't integrate with anything else that you're doing throughout the day. So you'd go to your Vonjour app, you go to your mobile device or your desktop, you say, I'm ready to start taking calls, right? So calls jump from one agent to another till it comes to you, to me in this case. I'm an employee. I take the call. After I'm done, I can say, I want to respond back on my mobile device in two weeks, see what's going on with this customer. When I need to add someone to a conference call, I just send an invitation for my mobile app very streamlined and when I need to step away from my calls I don't want to receive calls on my mobile device I just say turn it off send me an email notification every time I I get a call right it turns out that what businesses really needed to know when was the when's the time that we're getting too many calls or what agent is not taking their fair share of calls and when are calls actually going to a receptionist off-site or going to voicemail? We're losing money on that because I spent 200 bucks trying to acquire that customer. I spent uh, $2,000 to the lifetime of, of that, cu that customer's time on my platform. We're losing money. So we're going to provide them with some, some analytics on what's actually converting to those sales. Yeah. But I like the fact that I can simply say from my phone, oh, I do a conference call, okay, I'm going to do this from here, or, or I, wanted, I want this to go over there, or you know, help me to follow up with someone when I'm supposed to. The CRM piece of that is built in. I, I love that. It starts with phone, and if we could take it really kick butt on phone, we we're planning to do a video uh, utility as well, and a chat support uh, component. Out of curiosity, how much do businesses spend on these huge clunky phones that nobody likes to use? Sure. So you spend uh, 200 bucks per per uh, IP phone, right? Spend seven grand to buy your box in your office, and you might need an IT person to maintain the system. Say 20 grand a year. It's just, this could be a real expense for a business, and it's not their core competency dealing with customer support. We're saying just bring your Bring, bring your agents over to Vonger, have a more sophisticated conversation. This seems to really open up the game a bit to startups as well. Would, would you agree with that? Yeah. In fact, we're actually launching on AngelList as one of the featured uh, featured startups in, in August, where our official beta release is in August. Um, and that's our core customer. Folks who are starting a business right now um, who want to get into the 21st century with their communications with their with their clients, we are going to be their tool. Everyone's getting rid of the hardware. Everyone's getting rid of the hardware. This sort of reminds me when cloud really first took off and you, you got Amazon Web Services and all these things where it was so much easier for someone to start a company without having to build out their own data center. It seems like the same thing. You're getting rid of the hardware. You're saving money and you're doing, you're adding value beyond the call itself, right? T traditional telecom paradigm is, let's just give you a very cheap phone system and you know, we'll connect you to your customer. But there's not really, they're not doing much for your business beyond that. Um, what we believe our vision is, is give them some real significant insight on what's going on on their, on their ground floor. Every user that we talk to, I tell this to every startup, to go talk to your users. It's, your users will tell you a story that you never thought. It turned out the really significant story that can be told about uh, telecom right now is it's not giving the it's not adding value beyond those calls. So. Wow, adding additional value to the whole telecom experience. Who would have thunk it? Where did this idea come from? 
it's uh, our users. They had a pain point that uh, we wanted to uh, we want to address. Imagine that you're addressing a pain point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Startups talk to your users every single day. Have you taken any funding yet? We have. We have. We're almost. Uh, we're three fourths of our uh, way through through our angel round. Um, you, we're. We're looking to close the next two or three weeks. So, wow. yeah. congratulations! Yeah, it's been it's very exciting. And you're based here in Santa Monica or where in LA? We're in West LA. Okay. We're in West LA. Great. Yeah. You're on the other side of the 405. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, it's it's all very scary. <laughs> Actually, there there are startups all across Los Angeles, folks. It's not just on the beach as you might think, right? That's right. We're all at the beach, just surfing and and coding. That's what we do. Yeah. What, what, what do you think stands out the most about LA Tech? Yeah, I think that uh, there's some really interesting problems being solved. I think there's s certain niches that we're really good at, uh, e-commerce, uh, display network uh, platforms, me uh, just ad networks. Um, I think that it's gradually expanding to more SaaS platforms, like, like Voncher, there's another company called Callfire. Um, it's we're blossoming, right? It's, um, it's it's really interesting to go up north to to see what they're doing. We spent a week talking to Y Combinator, 500 startups, um, and it's a different world up there. But you're seeing some 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 growth in LA. It's a, a lot of SaaS, a lot of cloud, a lot of B2B, a lot of enterprise. Who would have thought that that would exist in, oh, sexy consumer tech LA? There's so much more than that here, right? It's, problems can be solved everywhere. I like that. That is, that's a good statement. Problems can be solved everywhere, and innovation happens everywhere. There's a, the, one of the more interesting companies uh, that I've encountered recently is Tuition.io. I don't know if you've heard. Those guys are solving a huge problem. Anyone who's graduated uh, with some student loan debt, I never had a trust fund or anything, and uh, uh, it's uh, they're solving a really critical problem. Their platform is really streamlined, very sophisticated. There's a lot of cool stuff in LA. It's just we're seeing it blossom right now. Well, thank you for sharing somebody else's vision, too. That's the way LA is. I find that people here pay it forward and help each other, so that's part of the culture in Los Angeles. There's a there's a fraternity of, an, of all of our startups and uh, a lot of interesting people solving interesting problems. <laughs> and one of those is adding more value to the telco experience. So thank you, Daniel Tofik, with Bonjour over here, or Bonjour. And I'm Amanda Kulong, your host here with TechZulu Penthouse at Silicon Beach Fest. We will be back soon.